Okay, so y'all, story time. So y'all, please tell me if I'm wrong. So today, this dude wrote me on Instagram, and he was like, can I send you money? Let me send you money for lunch. So I was like, okay. I wrote him back, and I was like, send it. So he wrote me and was like, okay, what's your cash app? So I sent him the cash app. Yeah, I just knew I was going to open my cash app, and I was going to have at least probably about a hundred bucks. You get what I'm saying? Because, like, this I eat, and that's how much I spend on my food. Yeah, I opened my cash app. And this man sent me $30. Yeah. Yes, $30. And I'm just like, at first I'm like, damn, like, am I ungrateful? Like, am I fucked up? Like, for feeling like, like, why the fuck would you send me $30? But then I had to ask people, and they was like, nah, because I'm like, $30 is not even half a tank in my car. Like, what the fuck you thought I was going to go to Chick-fil-A? Like, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what what did you think I was going to eat. It's like, when I go and eat, I eat full course meals like i order a appetizer a entree and a dessert and a drink that can't even get me two drinks like what the fuck and then this man had the audacity to write me back and say uh let me get to know you that i why the fuck do you think i'm gonna let you get to know me and you just send me 30 dollars for lunch someone that you don't know sends you a message and offers to give you money for lunch because obviously he's interested in you um, and he's trying to do this as a gesture of his his interest in you and you accept the offer not knowing what he's going to give you and then when you see the amount of money that he gives you you not only scoff at the amount because apparently it's not good enough but you're also insulting him because the amount of money that he's offered you doesn't meet your standards because you spend a hundred dollars on lunch like the average person is not spent like what are you eating what are you eating that you can't buy for 30 bucks do you know how many filling last you more than a day meals you can get on uber eats you can get going into a grocery store you know this is not sufficient because i usually spend this amount of money but he's not you and i doubt that you're spending a hundred dollars every day on your food she's looking for a full course meal with all the trimmings and she's having these expectations that this man that she doesn't know is going to match up to expectations that she's created in her mind of what a man who's interested in her should do because heaven forbid a man doesn't spend shit loads of money on you to be worthy of your time I'm absolutely sure that if this is coming out of your bank account on a regular basis you are not constantly spending a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds or the equivalent depending on wherever you are on food daily it's ludicrous it's ridiculous so the fact that this is being paid for by someone else is the reason why people have these expectations because you expect that a man should spend tons of money in order to be worthy and to be valuable and i just find that so like it's so disheartening and so ridiculous the sense of entitlement that people have to someone else's money <sighs> or apparently when a man who's interested in a woman is paying for anything he has to pay for a full course meal five star treatment instagram worthy meal or he isn't worth shit because did we forget that a good man who has good character is a decent human being is only really good when his character and all the good qualities that he possesses are complemented by the amount of money that he is willing to spend on you that is how we determine the value of a good man and if this man falls short of some random person's standard then he is burnt at the proverbial stake because how dare you not spend tons of money on a complete stranger that you're just getting to know how dare you not empty your bank account to show just how worthy you are of this woman's attention this is normal. This is acceptable. This is what we are okay with. I realize that dating or trying to date in this day and age is, is, very, is very difficult because of the sense of entitlement that people tend to have. In this case, some women, because I know this is not a, a thing with all women, but some women tend to have where they have these incredibly high expectations of a complete stranger. 
I am all for having standards. I am all for having expectations, but you must be able to meet the expectations that you expect of other people. So if you can't afford to spend tons of money daily on the food that you're eating, then don't have those expectations of someone else simply because they're interested in you. If you can't do that for yourself, then you shouldn't have those expectations of someone else. And if you can do it for yourself, then why are you expecting someone else to do it for you? We have to have better morals than what we have. We have to be better human beings. This thinking and this sense of entitlement that people have to other people's money, to me, is ridiculous. Even if $30 is too little for your standards, accept it with gratitude or don't. But don't come on social media and insult someone for trying to do something nice for you. And as for you fellas, stop trying to buy women and wondering why all they want from you is your money. Why are you offering some random chick? You haven't even spoken or gotten to know this person. Why are you offering her money? Look what that gets you. Get to know people before you decide if they are worthy of taking out your bank card, taking out your cash and spending it on them. Like, please.